In this video, I'm going to talk about shape morphing in Tumble Type 4. We're going to cover how to create them, how to use easing transitions to change the rate of their change, and we're also going to talk about copying path data. So what is a shape morph? A shape morph is just the transition from one shape path to another. This uses the vector shape tool in Hype, so if you're not familiar yet with how to draw vector shapes in Tumble Type 4, um, there's other videos that are linked below that show how to do that. So this lets you create pretty cool effects uh, transitioning between shapes and just lets you augment your uh, vector graphics and animate them in a really cool way. So how do you make those? The way you do it is you start with two shapes. You have your shape you want to start with and your shape you want to end with. So since we want to start with Nevada here, I'm going to have Nevada on the left and California on the right. So we're going to transition Nevada to California. How do you do that? What we're going to do is create keyframes, just like for any type of hype animation. We need to get the path data for California and copy it while recording onto Nevada. So I'm going to double click on California. Now we're in vector shape mode. I'm going to hit Command C, and that gets the vector shape data copied in your clipboard. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to double click on Nevada to expose its vector shape mode. Now I'm two seconds ahead in the playhead, and I have California copied in my clipboard. The final step is to hit Record. And now any change I make to this path while I have it selected will create a keyframe animation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and paste California onto Nevada by hitting Command-V. So that's it. We've got a shape morph pasted as a keyframe onto Nevada. Now from here you have keyframes generated in the path property. So I can easily copy this, which represents Nevada, to four seconds. And now I have a seamless loop back and forth starting at Nevada, going to California, and then back again. So that's pretty much it. That's the basic way that you will be creating shape morphs. Uh, I want to show you a few more things to keep in mind as you're working with these. If you want to edit a shape morph, you'll be editing individual keyframes. So select your keyframe, go to your shape, and then you can make any adjustment you want to change that point in time. So that will make your California here look like this. If you edit that uh, control point. So of course you can also modify control points and change curves. And all of those changes will seamlessly be reflected in your shape. Now you can also create different stops. So I could add another path keyframe here and make some interim changes if I wanted to add an additional adjustment to my shape morph right here. Now when you're moving your shape morph around, this entire thing, uh, its animation is sort of linked to relative changes. So moving this object does not affect your shape morph, just its position. But if I want to modify this shape morph and all of these anchor points, let's say I want to move them to the top right corner for their starting position. I want to make sure I'm on this path. I have these anchor points selected and then any change here moving these anchor points will actually adjust that shape morph. So you'll have a movement and a shape morph. But that's not really an origin movement in the same sense uh, that Hype knows about you're really animating the path itself. Of course, if you want to make your object a little smaller, uh, the same rules apply as if you're working with a group or an element. You can use the scale function by holding command and clicking and dragging on a corner to make your entire object smaller. So there's no need to edit individual path uh, anchor points or control points here. You can just resize the object. 
So when you combine this effect with other types of hype animation techniques, you can create some pretty cool stuff. You can um, slowly morph little bits around, let's say creating a uh, magazine cover here that's animated. And for this airplane, I'm just animating a vector shape, a background image, and converting that to a different vector shape and then sending it off. One thing I've neglected to mention is easing. So similar to any um, animation you create in Hype, you've got your easing properties here. And you can modify them as you wish by clicking and dragging this Bezier curve. You can also select a pre-built animation here. So for morphing transitions, it's really up to you. If you want a really constant speed linears for you, the default will be ease in, ease out. So it uh, gives you a little extra flexibility when you're working with these shape morphs. So that's shape morphs. <clears throat> so that's shape morphs in Tumblehype 4. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks.